Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. It's certainly shaping up to be a crazy weekend in the silver market. In this video, I'm going to talk about how several of the major online bullion dealers have suspended orders. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's behind that, and then stick around until the end of the video, and I'll show you where you may still be able to get your hands on some physical metal. So stick around. It's going to be a good video. Let's get to it. Okay, so what's going on with physical silver bullion? Well, I woke up this morning and I saw that a number of the major bullion dealers have suspended taking orders. On their main page here on Atmex, it says that they've done that until global markets open Sunday evening. So basically until paper trading in silver resumes tonight. And that tells me that they have a suspicion that something may happen to the spot price when markets open. My guess would be that they're uh, concerned that the spot price could fly up dramatically and they don't want to lock in all of these orders at the uh, $27 spot price that we have right now. Not only that, but even if they weren't concerned about the price, I think that silver bullion is basically just getting bought up and it's not available in a lot of places. So Atmex has just shut down physical silver products they have plenty of gold available, so this situation doesn't extend into the gold market yet, but it is definitely a shortage in physical silver. And I think that this has something to do with the folks over at Wall Street Bets on Reddit. I made a couple videos over the weekend about the possibility of a short squeeze in silver if Reddit investors begin to shift their focus from stocks into physical metal, and it looks like that might be what is happening. So SD Bullion, uh, they have an update that says, due to unprecedented silver demand, SD Bullion is unable to accept any additional orders until the market opens Sunday evening. Some of the other dealers don't have that message. They, at least nominally, are still taking orders. So over at JM Bullion, they have a message that says, due to increased order volume, they're experiencing shipping delays. But then if we go and we look at what they actually have in stock, so let's click on their in-stock silver link. Oh, most of it's actually out of stock. And I was looking at their inventory last night, I noticed that they still had these half dollars for $11,000. You can get a bag of half dollars. They had, I think, 11 of those in stock last night. And I'll show you a neat trick. One way you can see um, how many of an item JM Bullion has in stock is if we actually go to the listing and we try to add, just add a high number, like say 9,999 of these American Eagle coins, um, it will tell us we only have 400 in stock. So you can actually get an idea of inventory levels over at JM Bullion by just trying to add a large number of the item to your cart. And of course, these are 1996 Silver Eagle coins being sold at this ridiculous premium to silver. So that's pretty much all they have at the moment. They don't have anything near the spot price. Um, they have some of these collectible coins and things like that, but that's all that's left. Let's see, you can get a Wolverine one ounce round for 42 bucks. So that's a pretty crazy premium, but you can still get your hands on that, I guess. They've got these, uh, basically just all this oddball stuff that sells at like a high premium. It's not really bullion investments. It's sort of like gift items and things like that. And we can go over to uh, Gainesville Coins. I'm telling you, when I started recording this video just beforehand, I looked at what they had in silver rounds, and they still had some one ounce silver rounds available then. But now, this is about maybe 10, 15 minutes later, I'm looking at what they have for silver rounds. They really don't have any regular one ounce bullion rounds. They have some of these oddball things like this 1.2 ounce uh, sterling silver round. And that actually looks like it's still selling, it's still a high premium, but it's not a crazy high premium. So if this was the only physical silver I could get my hands on, um, I'd take it. But my preference would be nice one ounce 0.999 rounds, not uh, 1.2 ounce sterling silver rounds. Pretty slim pickings over here, just some like oddball stuff, weird weights, straight like oddball pieces are available. They've got a bunch of these sterling silver rounds, so I would personally much prefer to have 0.999 rounds, not 0.925 rounds for the purity of the metal. And of course, you know, mind you, none of this is uh, financial advice. I'm just sharing with you how I feel about silver bullion. Maybe some people would prefer to have sterling. I don't. Uh, I'm just a guy on YouTube, though. I'm just kind of sharing with you my thoughts. But you can see all the usual suspects, like their one ounce buffalo rounds, those are out. All of their one ounce rounds, basically, are completely out of stock over at Gainesville Coins. It's going to be tough to find metal at the moment. And if that situation is going to persist, I'm not sure. One thing you can still get your hands on is gold. Right now, I think that the price of silver is poised for a big move up. And 
if you haven't gotten your physical bullion yet, it's going to be tough to find it in any quantity. Me personally, if I didn't have a core position already, I would be trying to add some physical to my possession. It may become very difficult to get in the next few days. And that may just be a temporary situation. Only time's going to tell. There's no way to use a crystal ball on this stuff. But it's definitely uh, interesting times that we're living in. 2021 is going to be a crazy year, I think. If you thought 2020 was uh, a, a tough or an interesting or a crazy year, I don't think we've seen anything yet. Let's all buckle up and get ready for the ride. And if you still want to get some physical silver, um, you can head over to eBay. Now, I would be very cautious when purchasing silver on eBay, especially at a time like now when there is shortage at hand because you don't know what people are selling on here. People with low uh, feedback scores, basically anybody can put a listing up on eBay. Be very cautious who you buy from. I would only buy from reputable dealers who operate an eBay store. But one of those dealers that I've always liked is Scottsdale Silver. I'm going to go ahead and refresh their inventory, make sure they still have some stuff. But it, it does look like they still have some physical silver available, although you can see the uh, premiums are getting bid up quite high. This is a 20 ounce tube, so 21 ounce rounds, and currently that's getting bid up to $666.56. $33.32 an ounce. It's quite a high premium compared to the current spot price of 27 bucks, but might turn out to be a good deal anyway. And that's got 11 minutes left. So that might get bid up at the end, we'll see. But they do still have some physical is my point. And you can look around. I, now, some of the other dealers I bought from on eBay in the past are Atmex and JM Bullion. And I looked around, it looks like they don't have anything on eBay right now either. So they've pulled all their sales from everywhere. But there are still some bullion dealers who are operating their eBay stores. Um, another one I looked for was Bullion Exchanges. That's a uh, eBay dealer I've dealt with in the past. Now they still have some listings. We'll go look in their store. It doesn't look like they have any real bullion type silver available. They've got some of this real high premium stuff. Um, you can get a kilo kookaburra for $2,100. So that's a very high premium relative to the current spot price. And they may have some gold available, but doesn't look like they have much in the way of silver, just um, some collectible stuff, some numismatic stuff, not a lot of bullion at the moment. Scottsdale Silver still has some stuff over on eBay. You might be able to find some metal there. If you find some metal available at a good price, let us know in the comments below. Anybody who's watching, be careful about anybody who's peddling silver at the moment because when there are shortages like this, that is when the counterfeits and the scams come out of the woodwork. So make sure you're buying only from reputable dealers. Hopefully some of those reputable dealers will have some silver in stock soon. So that's it for this video. If you wanna find out more about the silver short squeeze, check out this video here where I talk about it at more length. I hope that everybody out there stays safe. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens when the markets open this evening and what happens tomorrow. So let's all buckle up and get ready for the ride. Thanks for watching everybody. Smart Silver Stacker out.